to use visuals. For one reason, I'm a visual learner. I'm passionate about using visuals, and I've always liked using visuals when I have learned uh, languages. Visuals are so important because they connect words with reality, with situations, and they connect words with meaning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine. Good. Today we're going to talk about work. Today we began a new unit, the work unit. Tell me some jobs. I want to write some jobs on the whiteboard. Teacher? Teacher, yeah. Teacher. Students come into the class with a lot of knowledge already, a lot of work experience, a lot of real life experience, and this is something you tap into. It generates a lot of interest for the unit. Who has a job now? Daniel, you have a job. What's your job? Baker. Baker, yes. What kind of a baker? Do you bake bread? Bread and bagels. Bagels? Any more? Yes, Neem? Yes. I am home care. Home care. Yeah. You're a home care worker. Home care worker. Uh huh. Do you work with uh, older people or young people? Uh, old people. Visuals are a way to tap into what students already know. Again, students come into the classroom with a lot of prior knowledge, and one visual can just unlock a lot of things. And it helps the teacher to understand what students already bring with them to the classroom. Maybe they know a lot about work vocabulary already. Maybe they don't know anything about it. Okay, I'd like you to open your book to page 96. Do you see a big picture? There are a lot of rich things that come out of a big picture. Where is this picture? The first thing to do is just is have fun with the picture, get a general context, uh, how many people do you see, talk about actions, what are they doing, what are they wearing, what time is it, get a sense of the context, and then move to my goal, which is talking about occupations in this case. What do you see in the picture? What are some of the things you see? There's a man fixing. The lights. Uh -huh. Why? Light. Why is he fixing the lights? Fixing the light. What's, the, what's wrong with the light? It doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, the light doesn't work. He's fixing the light. What else do you see? A computer. Uh huh. Yeah. Is this a big computer? No. Small. Notebook computer. Laptop computer. Yeah, laptop. After we talked about the big picture and we talked about the occupations, we moved to a pointing activity where students actually physically point to the picture to identify the vocabulary, to show me that they understand the vocabulary. Okay, point to a waiter. When students are pointing, it's real important for me to go around the room and see what they're doing. And it's always a little surprising and even humbling to realize that some of them are not doing this correctly. A nurse. But it's important for the teacher to know if the students are connecting the words with meaning appropriately or not. Here's a nurse. This is a, a nurse. What color are her clothes? White. White. Look at uh, My Lin. Is she a construction worker? No. No, she isn't. Is she a... There are three different kinds of questions that I can use. Uh, the most basic question is a yes-no question. I point to a picture and I'll say, is she a nurse? The question has the vocabulary embedded in it, so it's the easiest for students to answer, and they were getting those very quickly, yes, no, yes, she is, no, she isn't. And I move from a yes-no question then to a little higher order question, which is an or question. Is she? Uh, Cook or a cashier? A cashier. A cashier. I'll point to a person. I'll say, is he a doctor or a construction worker? And again, the answer key is embedded in the question, but they have a choice, a yes or no. And the most difficult third order of question would be a WH question. Who is the man uh, with a pencil and a paper? Waiter. He's a waiter. Now let's review something we studied before 
the cook is cooking. I the demonstrated cook. some of the grammar that came naturally from the picture. In this case, it was a review of uh, present continuous, which students have already studied. Look at the busboy. And uh, the picture enables me to bring that grammar out and uh, in a very natural way, where I can say, what is he doing? What is the nurse doing? And so on. It's a good way to review something that we've already covered. Before I ask students to do anything, I think it's very important to model uh, that activity. Now I say, busboy, and you point. And uh, there's a natural progression in the modeling. At first, I would start with teacher and student. I'm saying the word, the student is pointing. And then we move student, student. So I invite another student up. Why don't you stand right here? And the first student then is speaking, the second student is pointing, and then we switch roles. Okay, good, very good. Now let's change. You are going to One speak. One student points, the other student speaks. There's a movement there from teacher to student and then to everyone participating in the activity. A nurse, we are a nurse. When students are working with partners, it's very important that I walk around and see what they're doing. With a large class, it's even more important that I circulate because uh, I can't invite everybody up to the front of the room. Uh, cool. Good, good, sure, okay. That's good. And That's good. After the pair activity, I'll then invite two more students to come to the front of the room. And this is a final piece of accountability where students have been practicing with partners, but if they know that perhaps the teacher is going to ask them to come to the front and demonstrate this activity in front of the whole class, I think they're going to be a little more accountable for the activity while they're doing it. Uh, waiter. 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 Yeah. No matter what the level of the class is, visuals are important because they generate interest in the topic, they provide vocabulary-rich environment. They bring students' experiences to the classroom. They let the teacher know how much students already know about a particular topic. And then visuals can be a great spin-off. You can just take off in many different directions.